Howdy. So, I've been working on the game since about August. I used to only spend a few hours on it every other week, but I've since decided to start spending a majority of my time on it instead. So I guess you could say I started working on this full time at the start of November. I'm not doing this alone though. Skull, the resident programmer, is doing the programming side of things. While I'm mainly focused on the 3D assets, neither of us really have any experience with animation, game design, music, or sound effects, you know, all the other things that go into making a game, so we'll see how that goes. We were initially going to make a relatively simple auto-battling pet game just to get the gist of the game making process. We got a few of the assets and like a little bit of the AI done, but then we got infected with the but what if we make a dream game bug and um well now here we are so instead of a pet game we have an adventure shopkeeping rpg somehow so we started out with the base goal of some sort of monster made cafe rpg friendship sim and brainstorm from there it ended up with an overly ambitious amalgamation mainly inspired by ryutama the atelier games history dungeon style games, and very, very loosely, the Persona games. In our game, you'll play as the, as of now, unnamed main character who's an aspiring adventurer that comes from a long line of merchants. In summary, she leaves her hometown to become a traveling merchant with her also unnamed childhood friend, and slowly grows her business and makes friends and enemies along the way. As of now, we have several Google Docs describing the core gameplay, the main cast of characters, and the world slash setting. I won't really go into world building in this video as that's something you should probably mainly see in the game itself, and it also doesn't really exist that much yet, so yeah. But for the core gameplay, we have three main categories. Adventuring, shopkeeping, and socializing. I'll just talk about adventuring in this video since that's the first mechanic we're actively working on for now. Adventuring takes place on a mostly procedurally generated map full of dungeons and safe zones. The most common style of dungeon would be relatively short casual zones that connect safe zones. These casual dungeons have passive enemies and common gathering resources. They may also contain a scenic route and or a true dungeon. Scenic routes are basically the casual part of the dungeon extended with rare resources and aggressive enemies instead of passive ones. The true dungeons are longer than the casual and scenic routes with even rare resources, stronger enemies, and other features that I may go into more detail when we actually have anything made. Safe zones are towns or cities. You can sell, craft, rest, etc. in both of these. The main difference between the two are that towns are procedurally generated and have less things to do than the static cities. Cities also contain main story questline stuff. The story has not been written yet, so I can't give you any details there. I forgot to mention that the combat is probably going to be instance and tactics style. Although probably not all that complex. We're looking to make a bit more of a casual experience. The combat's not really set in stone though, so we'll see if that changes with time or like if we figure out something different to do with the combat, but for now, it's tactic style. As of now, Skull is working on setting up the procedural map generation and I'm working on modeling the main character. Excluding the main character, there are six, possibly eight, other playable characters and four rival characters that we have sort of fleshed out so far. One half of the character concepts and designs were created by Skull and the other half are by me. We both worked on the main character though. I'll only introduce the main character in this video as she's the only one with a model right now. I made a mini character sheet describing the main character's basic characteristics. I feel like I said character too many times just now. Anyway, she's a little carbuncle gal from the merchant family, as mentioned before. She's optimistic, a go-getter, uh, and a softy, kind of basic main character <laughs> characteristics. Oh my gosh, I will stop. She also really likes pirates, 
He also likes treasure and money and adventure. <laughs> Unfortunately for her, she gets seasick very easily, so she can't actually become a pirate. So she's really like bitter about the boat thing. Anyway, I may make extended versions of these character sheets for her and the other cast members in the future, if that sounds remotely interesting to anyone. But for now, I'll stick to these brief personality descriptors at the end of each devlog, if I have a character model ready to show by then. I'll post a time lapse of me making her in Blender at some point if I haven't already. Anyways, considering it's just the two of us working on this and Skull has a full-time job, I don't expect that we'll finish this anytime soon, but I'll try to post monthly updates on what we get done if that's possible. So there's that to look forward to. Maybe. See you in the next devlog.